So to answer the first question, which is how concerned am I about the different methods used to detect mutations? I think that is a serious concern now because depending upon what company does the test or what academic center does the test or what uh, place does the test, it can be a very different test and the sensitivity of the test can be very different. So some can look at the whole exon, some can just look at a specific mutation, some can have a sensitivity of 5%, sensitivity of 10%, etc. In medicine, unfortunately, I don't think there's any perfect test, but we try to be as accurate as possible. So whenever I see a report from a company, for example, I always look specifically at the detailed methods to see exactly what the method was that was used. And occasionally I've said, hey, you know, this is not the right assay or we may have missed this and so then sent it for another test. Um, I'm not sure how many people may be aware of those kinds of things. Probably most people would be looking for positive, negative, and then use that as the answer. But that is a concern, I think, moving forward. Ideally, we would have standardized tests throughout the country, but I'm not sure that that's going to happen. In terms of the second question, in terms of heterogeneity, you know, I think we know that patients' tumors are heterogeneous. That's why, unfortunately, we're not curing patients with metastatic disease because they have multiple clones probably in there, some of that are sensitive, some that are resistant. Um, I think in most instances, if you have a so-called driver mutation, most of the lesions, if not all, will actually have the same driver mutation, but the other mutations may be different. But we also have to deal with patients, and you can't just biopsy every single site in a patient. Uh, and so we have to do what's feasible and what's safe for the patient as well.